Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized yeah. chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. So that's easy. I'll take the uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know... Amateurs. It's not weird at all. Reuben is the best pet I could ask for. Obedient, loyal, and always happy to see me at the end of a long day. No friend. I should have said friend, not pet. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Guys totally freaked out. Now we're Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude, roll. Let's go.
I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year, we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry to win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional, we build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. There. building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, mm. oh great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, ah. 
Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic zombie is, is way cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Builder Bump. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry <laughs> about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool! Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer! You're gonna ruin the bill! Ruben's going to get lost! We've gotta do something! We've gotta get Ruben! Ah. Oof. We're right behind you! Uh, ah. I don't see him anywhere, Reuben! 
The sun's going down. We gotta find him, fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm, pig tracks. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. These definitely belong to a pig. Hmm, there's no way Ruben made these on his own. Ruben, are you in there? Yeah. <laughs> Reuben, it's getting scary out here. Reuben? Reuben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Ruben, run! I think... I think we're good. I think we made it. Back! Get back! Stay behind me. I got you. Get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but 
How far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. That's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> Don't worry so much. I can handle myself. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Yeah? See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! <sighs> Crap. Ah! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump.
it burns! Don't you know? You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? Or like, a lot disappointed? Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. And just who are you? The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now! I'm with Petra. My deal is with her, not her partner. She'll be here, but we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Maybe we should rethink the whole thing. This guy gives me a bad feeling. I'll give you a bad feeling if you ruin this for me. Proceed, then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's Lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. 
go. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. Besides, he looks just fine to me. The black eye makes him look tough. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. Coolorama. Ha! <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking, beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. Ha, I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag. How's your stupid pig? I hear intense heat causes brain damage. Aiden, you idiot. Hey. Who are you calling an idiot? You, now move! Hey! Hey, what do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the boat. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Reuben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! You kidnapped my pig! Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the streets. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. Please, he's my friend! To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. It's yours. Come on, Reuben. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ruben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> Here's the thing, we had tickets, but we lost them. Ah, oh, man, I hate it when stuff like that happens. Ugh, me too. I, I I feel like such an idiot. I'm sorry, but no tickets, no show. Chicken! 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 Oh! It's gone. You're totally fine. You're totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? 
This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoot, shoot! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I'm really sorry about earlier. I honestly thought you were someone else. Apology accepted. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw, oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. We catch him. There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. I wouldn't mind a little payback. He deserves it for crossing Petra. You ready? Ready. You see anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? It's like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I did say we wanted payback. No better payback than thieving from a thief, right? I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Let's focus on finding the skull, not stealing. Nobody ever lets me have any fun. We let you hang out with us. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Oh, hello. <clears throat> too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Yeah, I had to wave it at this jerkwad butcher earlier, you know, to save Reuben's life. Impressive. You're keeping it? But I thought it was too soft, too heavy. Eh, it still might come in handy. And it is super flashy. Find anything? I want to steal that and that. I just want to touch that. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not going to believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion. I know this is a big step, but... Come on, Axel, make yourself useful and go find that skull. I am. Uh, nope, you're literally doing the exact opposite of what I just asked you to do. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. 
A good thief always covers his tracks. Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. What the hell is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? And now I know my heart is a ghost town.